Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Alright, I hope you're ready for another exciting tutorial, and uh, this tutorial is going to be on sizing things up into SCAL. Uh, for example, you have your file separated in color, sort of like this bear right here, and uh, and you you want to you know you want to save paper, of course, and you don't want to cut all all these pieces. Uh, you know you don't want to cut uh, the whole thing on a brown piece of paper. Then you want to you don't want to cut everything on you know a beige piece of paper just to get the small circle here. So you want to separate it by colors, and then you want to import it into scow. Well, well, here's the problem uh, when that happens. So uh, so I have scow here. I'm going to import. Uh, I called it bear all. And uh, you know you don't want to cut the same file three times and waste all that paper, right? So uh, so we have it separated into colors. So let's go ahead and separate or uh, import bare brown, um, which is what we separated and called our file. And as you can see, when you import, it doesn't do it to the exact same size that you had it. So you're gonna need to do a comparison. And that's uh, that's what we are using bear all for, because it has all the pieces. They're all proportioned correctly to the size that we want. So uh, this is what we do, and we just uh, you know increase the size, and then we uh, we drag it over, and we see if it matches. You know, and if it's a good match, it's good to go. And uh, that that's one technique on how to do this. Uh, another technique is to use a marker kind of tool, and uh, I'll show you how to do that real quick in Inkscape. And what you're going to want to do is uh, go to the Shapes tool, and you just want to create a little marker on uh, on each of the colors, and you, you want it small. Now, once you go to once you have that small little file there or small little star there, uh, we can go ahead and zoom in on it. Uh, you're going to want to go to path, object to path, so it will become a cut file. And, um, and then after that, you're going to want to go to edit, then you want to copy, and then you're going to want to uh, go to edit and paste it. And then you're going to you're want to drag that by every single little piece. And you're going to be using that star as a guide. And you want to make sure that you do the copy and paste because you want it exactly the same size. You want it turned the same way on on uh, on all these pieces, uh, so you can size it up correctly. You know, and then you go to edit, uh, paste again, and you put it next to the brown. So uh, so there's that. And once you, once you have that, then you're going to want to save each color again. Uh, for this example, we're just gonna we're just gonna concentrate on the uh, on the brown in the face. So we're gonna delete this, and uh, we're just gonna save as bare brown. Of course, replace it, and then we're gonna bring back uh, our other pieces and delete that. Go back down, delete this, and then we'll go to file. Save as and bare face and replace it. Then we can go into scow and we can use those markers. So let's go ahead and import those two files we just created, which is bare face. Go ahead and increase that. And then we'll go to um, we'll, we'll import the other file and bare brown. And you see those stars there. That's what we're going to use as as a comparison shot. So say this is the size of the bear that we we wish to have. Then all we have to do is match up that star with uh, with that bear down there. Now uh, you, you may want to uh, increase your marker tool as far as, uh, as as seeing it, or you can always zoom in on your mat to make sure that you have it the correct size. And then uh, those stars look like they pretty pretty well match. You know you can bring it up to the bear and it works. So those are the two different types of, of methods that uh, that we can think of in doing this. If you have any other suggestions, feel free to post it in the comments on the YouTube channel. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. So 
Until next time, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com. 